Hi everybody, it's Danielle back with Dingbat Beauty. I wanted to film another, um, I guess, episode of my Ace Beauté series that I'm doing where I'm going to try out all 11 of my Ace Beauté palettes. Uh, it is actually the same day that I filmed my last one, um, October 3rd, but it, it all, an entire day has passed. So we've got 30 more minutes of October 3rd. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and, and film this one too. Today, we're going to do the Ace Beauté Flare Palette. And it's, it's a stunner. It's, it's beautiful, I gotta tell you. Um, today, I worked and I wore my Hex Baby Palette. This is a Ghosty Babe. I did a review on this. It was like my second video ever. This is a beautiful palette. I did another beautiful pink look with this. It held its own. Uh, I, took, I wore it for 10 hours and came home, took a shower. It got rained on, it got sweated with, and it, it held up just fine. It was great. I really did like it. And it, it, there wasn't any staining left after I just normally washed my face. But that one was good. I am definitely going to uh, keep using things that I like. I'm, it's not going to be just a review and chunk it unless I hate it. And even then it's hard for me to chunk stuff and just say, well, that was a waste of money. And speaking of wastes of money, oh gosh, this Too Faced Peach Primer. I was going to put this on. Well, actually, I attempted to put this on uh, before I filmed so that I would just kind of use it I'm not going anywhere or anything today, but I did want to have some nice primers so I didn't look shiny while I was filming. And I didn't have anything on my face and this just wiped right off. It was like wiping grit against my face and I had to just wipe it off. So I'm not wearing any primer today. No foundation, no concealer. I am trying out something new. It is the Pure Less Blush Glow BB Cheek Color. And the color that I'm wearing is Vivid Coral. I think it has eight colors all in total. So I've got Vivid Coral and then I've got uh, the two that are still in the boxes that I have not tried yet. I wanted to try one before I opened all of them out because if I didn't like it, I was gonna give these away to somebody else. And the other two colors I have, this one is Cool Mauve and this one is Malibu Peach. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that turns out, <laughs> we'll see. But I wanted some, a lighter pink one too for winter just because I do kind of do a little bit brighter, bold uh, cheek colors in the summertime. So I did want it a little bit lighter, but I do like this. It went on great. Uh, it doesn't uh, accentuate any of my pores or anything like that. No, it went on beautifully. So besides that, I'm also wearing uh, Tarte Shape Tape, the uh, loose powder, just to make sure, because it is hot in here today. I probably should have planned it better and not uh, taken a hot shower nearby and then decided to film. But uh, I did work all day and I wasn't gonna film without taking a shower first. I was gross. So today we are going to do it with a flare palette. Let me show you what this beauty looks like. There we go. I have swatched it. I cannot remember if I actually like wore it, wore it. And in days like today, I actually wish I had more than two eyes because there are so many beautiful color combinations. I could have done a blue look. I could do an orange look. I could do like the orange and green, which is, I'm thinking I might want to do that. And then I've got these colors right here. That kind of looks like a purpley color. It's, mm, it's hard to tell if it's like a purpley gray maybe. Um, and then of course, beautiful shimmers, but I'm going to swatch everything so you can see it and uh, make your own call. And then we'll see how everything's going. I do like uh, Ace Beauté not having any loose glitters in their palettes. I just, or pressed glitters. I'm sorry, loose glitters would be a mess, but pressed glitters. I just, it's too much. I just, they don't stay in place very well for me and I just don't want to clean up my face. So we're going to try out some of these beautiful, beautiful colors. I'm going to swatch them and then we'll get started. Oh, I also forgot. Uh, I did uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow just to darken up my eyebrows a little bit. All right, I'll be right back. Well, I'm back. I went ahead and swatched that palette out. I also applied my usual primer, which is the Beauty Crop Stuck On You. And then on top of that, I applied what I consider my tank top color is the color that goes on uh, between my primer and the eyeshadow I'm gonna wear that day. It's usually very close to my skin color. I don't mind that palettes don't have that nude brown color because I can easily dip into another palette that has that nudie brown. And I'm using the Estate Cosmetics collab with Bailey Sarian. It is her Venice Fling. I 
you know, I'm gonna keep telling you that I use this, but it is the tan lines color right there. And, and that's my tank top color, it goes on. And uh, speaking of tank tops, you guys are gonna see me in tank tops more than you won't see me in tank tops. And the main reason is I don't get dressed before I put makeup on when I do stuff. If I'm gonna have any fallout or, uh, you know, decide to change my outfit, I d no, uh, I don't get dressed until my face is done. Plus, I don't know what I wanna wear until my face is done sometimes. So we are gonna get started. Let me show you these swatches. They turned out beautifully. Okay, this is 15 colors. There are, let me count them real quick. One, two, three. All right, oh, there's only four shimmers in this palette and the rest are mattes. Now, swatching this out, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fall palette. Now, saying that and not being critical of Ace Beauté in any way, if I had done this palette, I would have switched out this red, which is actually a very true, true red with a shimmery green. I know, please, please don't come at me about the greens. I know, you know I have a problem with the greens, but I really feel like this palette would have benefited from one, one shimmery green. I just switched out saffron, which is up there in that corner right there. Now, the color that I think is going to be an absolute essential in this palette is actually acorn, which is right there. And the main reason is some of the darker colors, I just think it would help just deepen them up a little bit. And I think that color is actually gonna get a lot of use. I know you're probably like, oh no, that's just a dark weird color, but no, I think it'll help deepen up some of the other colors. So I'm excited to get started with this. I'm gonna do two separate looks and just play a little bit. And no, I'm not gonna do an all green eye. Believe me, y'all are gonna get tired of <laughs> seeing all green eyes. I've got so many palettes that are green that are gonna be green eye looks. So I'm gonna try to stay away from that as much as possible. Now I've got several makeup brushes and they are clean-ish. Um, I did do a color switch um, swirl just to get the old color off of them. These are actually fairly clean. I just cleaned all my brushes, but since I put on so much makeup, they get sold pretty quickly, but these are, are clean. Um, all right, y'all are about ready to get started. All right, I'm just gonna move in a little bit closer. This palette does have a mirror with it, and it's a nice, it's a large, nice mirror and I appreciate that very much. So I think this eye, I'm not going to go too crazy. We're just going to just start playing. So I'm going to get that, that staple color, that acorn color and just go in with that first. I'm so excited. It's nice to have a brand where you are fairly confident that the eye looks or the product itself is going to work well. Oh, that's nice. That's actually extremely pretty. All right, very good. Okay, and then um, this might actually be a very quick look on how it's going so far. Let's see. We're going to go in with, uh, it's called Mulberry. It's kind of that lavendery gray color. I'm just going to go right in the middle there. Actually, let's go all the way in. Uh, if it's not obvious to you already, I am definitely no... <laughs> makeup expert. I just like to play and let's see what looks good. And you know, sometimes basic looks are a-okay and I like to use mattes with the one shimmer usually. And if, you know, if it works, don't don't fix it, right? So <laughs> um, we're gonna go in with the color Biscotti, which is, let's see that little color right there. And I'm just gonna tap that on. Easy, effortlessly put together and I look. This is easily a uh, color that I could wear every day. All right, I'm just going to blend it out real quick and just make sure it's not got any harsh color changes. All right, you know, I like, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, uh, you wanna go a little bit stranger for the next time? Let's, let's try it, let's see. I'm just thinking about how I want to proceed. Let's do, let's start with the inside of the eye first. Let me get another brush. Okay, 
I'm going to go into that lime green color. It's called Sherbert. And I think we're just going to start on the inside of the eye right here. I'd be interested to see how this, this whole palette swatched on a uh, deeper skin. I bet these colors just pop. Well, it's not coming off light, I mean, lime green on the eye. It's more of a, more of a yellowy color almost. Let me see if I can mix in a little bit of that darker green right next to it. That's called moss. I was really hoping for a bright, like, whoa, that is green color. And it's just not paying off like I was hoping. That's okay. We'll, we'll see what we can do about it. Maybe that orange won't come off so bright either. All right, so it's the green just on the inside of the eye. Let's go in and pat some with the medium orange, which is called pumpkin. Now, one day, fingers crossed, if I ever get to design a palette and I did, I was able to pick everything that I wanted to pick in it, you better believe there's gonna be an orange and green in there. Those two colors, I just, I just love orange and green. My perfect palette would be orange, green, and purple. I just, I think those are just fun colors and they play well together. Now the pink look I wore today, that Hex Baby palette, which I freaking love, that pink really helps green eyes pop. Green and red, I'm, I'm sorry, pink and red make the green eyes pop. So it's, it's a, I might be a little crazy if I go out with a red eyeshadow. But pink, I'm starting to get used to it. I know I still got some looks, but, but I'm starting to get used to it. Now, let's see. I'm going to go in with the darker orange color, which is hazelnut. And we're just going to add some dimension in there. Add some depth with the color change. Very nice. Um, Gonna go in a little bit more with that green color. Hopefully, I can get a little bit more color payoff. I'm just doing a matte eye with this one. I'm not gonna add any shimmer. Uh, believe me, I could. I definitely could could do that, but not today. Let's see. And then I'm gonna go in with that staple, that real MVP color, the acorn, and I'm just gonna tap in that. I'm tapping that little bit of darker color right there, just like that. All right, and now I'm just gonna blend that out. Get everything all together and playing nicely with each other. All right, I think uh, that is good. Very nice, very nice fall look. What do you guys think? Do you like the basic color? Would you do the orange and green combo? Ah, oh, I just wish that green was like a neon green because I really think that would have just made it pop. I think that would have been really, really cool. But I'm very happy with the style. I like it very much. Oh, and let me ask you guys, what do you guys do with this plastic thing? Do you keep them in the palettes? I feel like I should keep them, but they're a pain. Tell me in the comments, do you keep this plastic piece or not? That's bonkers. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but again, absolutely love the palette. Let me show you one more time the colors I used. Okay, so for this eye, I used Acorn right there, Biscotti as the shimmer, and what was the other one? Was it? And hold on. Oh, of course, sorry, Mulberry, <laughs> that one. So that was the lighter color, that was the, the crease color, and then Biscotti was the uh, shimmer. And then for the orange and green eye, that was the Sherbert color, that is pumpkin and that one was hazelnut. And then of course I used acorn just to darken it up just a little bit. And I like that a lot. I'm going to add some eyeliner and mascara. The eyeliner is gonna be a uh, liquid liner, I believe. Let me double check. It is from Illamasqua. I've had this open for a while, but I haven't really used it because I like ColourPop's gel liner so much. But I'm gonna see how I feel about this one again because I cannot remember. So the Illamasqua Black 
This is the liquid eyeliner. And then the mascara I'm gonna put on is going to be Lash Princess um, by Essence, which I'm sure you guys have heard of. It's fabulous, fabulous mascara that's like four bucks. Um, I have the waterproof one. Would I repurchase the waterproof one? No, I probably wouldn't. And the only reason is because waterproof mascara is not that great for your lashes. But I didn't know it when I bought it. I didn't find that out until recently. Uh, it's Dingback Beauty. I didn't know. So I'm going to actually try to steer away from waterproof mascara when at all possible. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to use it um, just to see and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Mascara and eyeliner are done and I actually got a closer look at my eyes. Uh, it's hard to see because I need to wear glasses to see close up because being over 40 sucks. And uh, so I'm not getting a great uh, reflection uh, with my eye looks, but I was able to look closer while I was off camera and I flip and love both of these looks. They look really good. I'll try to get a little bit closer to the camera and close my eyes so you can see. I would happily wear either eye out in real life and in public. I'm, I'm freaking thrilled. I A plus, love this palette. It is the bomb. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna add a little bit of color under my eyes. I, it's something I like to do, but not always something I remember to do. So I'm gonna take that darker hazelnut orange and just put it a little bit under my eye. I'm using the same brush I used earlier and just squeezing the bristles flat to kind of make it a little bit flatter because it's kind of a puffy little brush here. Let me see. And then I'm gonna go in with the pumpkin color right there. And then let me grab, let me see if that, any of this sherbet shows up right there. Very nice. I like that a whole lot. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, just add some color under my eyes for the other eye. Let's see. I think we'll use acorn and just go use that for the whole under eye. Not anything too dramatic. I am only gonna usually do looks that I would wear in public. Um, so, and I would not wear cat eye or anything like that in public. Not because I don't like it. It's just not something you see a lot of here yet. And it's just not, I just think I'd get a lot of strange looks with it, but you know, maybe one day, maybe I'll get a little bit more confident with like winged eyeliner or something like that. But for the time being, I'll just wear my pink eyeshadow. <laughs> So guys, I hope you like today's look. Oh, let me tell you what I'm wearing on my lips. So my lips, it has uh, the Charlotte Tillsbury Pillow Talk for the liner. That's me, I think the number two. And then I've got NARS Bolt Lipstick and a name I cannot pronounce, but I think it's Tildo, Tildy. Uh, and then on top of that, I have Buxom's Dolly, which is very popular. You've probably heard of that already, just to uh, add some shine to it. And I don't usually wear a whole lot of bullet lipsticks. Like I've said before, I just usually wear stains. Um, every once in a while, something glossy. But, I, you know, I wear a mask the majority of the time when I'm out of the house. And it just kind of gets all over the place if I'm wearing like a, a, a matte lipstick or something like that. So, anyway, y'all, I'll let you go. <laughs> I, hope, I was trying not to make it a too awful long video. So, I appreciate you sticking there with me. I'm going to take a break uh, for the evening and heat up some pizza and have that for dinner. And uh, I'll see you guys next time for our next Ace Butte palette. All right. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.